man hides his promotion from girlfriend and ends the relationship. Fantastic. I hit, I hid my promotion from her to see how she'd behave. Man's shocking mm. revelations. I'm pretty sure you already know where this is going, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Picture this. You're in a relationship and struggling financially. Your partner loses their job, but quickly finds a new one with a lower salary. You start paying half the rent and tensions rise. Arguments become the norm. Then your partner gets a promotion that could solve your financial problems, but they keep it a secret. That's exactly what happened to Kate mm. and her now, now ex-boyfriend. Let's dive into this roller coaster of a story. All right. Uh, this was a good one. I, 26 male, was in a relationship with someone who we will call Kate for a little over two years and lived together for around eight months. Mm. At the start of our relationship, I had a good job and made a little, little much over two more two times than what she did. This allowed me to spoil her a little bit, take her out often, and so forth. That was your first mistake, bro. Yep. Mm -hmm. about, a, about a month after she moved in with me, lost my job. Mm. Happens. Luckily, I found a new job, but my wages were essentially cut in half, so I had to start at the bottom of the ladder. This is where the trouble started. She had to start paying half the rent, whereas before I paid 70% of all shared expenses since I made considerably more. She did so reluctantly, as that meant we both lost nearly all spending money. Wham. Yeah, listen, this is this is very common. Very. Uh, oh, tensions rise. At first, her mood was pretty much permanently bad, which led to rude and mean comments concerning my inability to provide. Man, let me guess, your dick's there, small, you can't get... That is the beginning of the contempt language. Yep. Once, once that start, right there. Once that starts, it, it's it's over. Yep. You, you have to accept that. Yep. This soon led to near constant arguments. A few months later, I got promoted, resulting in me making a little bit more than I made f before. At first, I was excited to tell her, but something told me not to. <laughs> that was the that was the little evil genius tapping you on saying, "No, don't mm. don't tell her, bro. Don't tell her." Yep. Uh, now he's testing Kate's behavior. After a few days, I decided to see how she would behave. The arguments continued it and got worse. As it continued, I decided I did not want to continue with someone that was like this during a difficult time. Of course not. Why the fuck would you want to do that? Yep. I ended the relationship and she moved out a week later. Since then, she noticed that I could afford to live there on my own and found out about <laughs> the promotion through other people. Ha ha ha! Fucked is. up. <laughs> ah, the money test. I love it. And oh. now here comes the meltdown. Apparently she had a meltdown screaming at anyone who listened that I never loved her and how her how the finances destroyed our relationship and how she could believe I did not fix it. Mm. Wham. Listen, um, gentlemen, if you are in a relationship with a woman like this, get out. Because yeah. I can mm -hmm. guarantee you at some point in the future, she's going to punch her ticket for the cash and prizes and walk away mm -hmm. with half your shit and your children. Yep. Yeah. yeah I so mean, the, uh, the, que the question out there, gents, in the chat, was he in the wrong? I'm going to go with a resounding uh, no. No. <clears throat> Yeah, I would say he was uh, not wrong. Uh, listen. All right, I'm not going to say all women are like this. Most women fall into this category. And when I say the word most, that number is anywhere from 51 to 99%. It's a big range. All right, now, in today's day and age, where you can literally... Have your life ruined, be thrown in prison, be turned into a homeless man, have your children taken away. I mean, mm. not just on a whim, it's not worth the risk. Keep your arms and legs. Like, for instance, uh, you walk into a candy shop and there's a bowl of Godiva chocolate. And it says free, but two of the candy bars in this bowl are poisonous. 
Are you really going to eat any candy out of that bowl? No. Hell no. <laughs> no, you're just asking to get your ass kicked so hard you wear it as a hat. Yeah. Mm. To, to, to quote yourself there, Pop, uh, okay, girls, we're going to have to go with the big fuck off. <laughs> yeah, and listen, um, you know, I, I, that's what I say at the McDonald's drive through when they're, uh, they're dicks. Don't have your hash <laughs> browned, man. Ah, I mean, I went through there and I ordered two hash browns, and it was like ten thirty six. And like, well, we don't serve that after ten. After ten, I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. Fuck off! <laughs> I just drove off. <laughs> <laughs> And Blake was in the pastor. He goes, man, that's pretty cold. They're just doing what they're told. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> just care. Throw up. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.